Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Cracking This D. You're about to react to this video by Nicole TV. This is her leaving YouTube. Um, so you guys have been telling me to react to this. You know, she's talking about leaving, and y'all said it's not clickbait. She's actually uh, planning on quitting YouTube. So don't know if this has to do with everything surrounding the fight she just had or what, but, you know, we're going to see. Um, I kind of skimmed through it a bit to find out the part where she's talking about it because this video is 27 minutes long, and um, no. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just going to react to a portion of it where she's actually addressing uh, why she personally wants to leave YouTube. So let's see what she has to say with watch. Yes, no, I'm not really consistent because I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I do plan on retiring from YouTube very soon. Um, I'm over it. Um, I'm just over the internet. I really don't mm. want to continue. Mm. So I'm gonna give it another good year. I feel you. Um, doing what I gotta do. Oh yeah, okay. And I really don't want to do a year. I just want to do a couple months, but. I know next year's gonna be a really good year. I got a lot of stuff I'm gonna show y'all. So I done saved up enough and invested very well to where I just feel like I can step away. And plus, I really just, even if I was fucking broke, like I just started making videos. Even if I was broke, I just wouldn't do it if I was unhappy. And I can't force myself. It's just too toxic and I just- Toxic. I, just, I just wanna be real again. Like I just wanna have a chance to be comfortable again. Like real life i want to breathe i want to make mistakes and not always have somebody down my neck i don't i sneeze on somebody wrong and it's gonna be the real nicole tv what the fuck <laughs> girl like if i roll my neck at a bitch had a bitch the truth about nicole tv like i don't i i don't really know what the uh but I will be on my app and my app has been very successful i had over four million interactions and users go on bitch. my app to crash i'm not out here deceiving nobody i've been me since i came on here and that's why i blew up because people like it for me only thing is y'all don't know all of me and the internet does not need to know all of right. me. right y'all have my personality not my personal business and i will keep it that way but that's another reason why i don't want to be on here i just I'm gonna continue to make my music because I see a lot of people really do adore my music, or appreciate my music. So once I step away, I'm not stepping away for music. I really just want my sanity back. Like mm. I have been in a funk and I can't keep, I can't pretend. Y'all know I just can't even do that. So it's like, it's gonna show and I just don't wanna, I don't want any bad energy on my channel. I don't want none of that. So I will be leaving, but mm. before I do that, I'm gonna make the best time for y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the video there, but it seems like she's basically just reiterating that, you know, she doesn't wanna be on the internet because it's very toxic and she wants to protect her energy and her mental space. And I totally understand that 1000%. I'm about to go on a rant real quick and give y'all some um, information, okay? Um, the internet is so toxic and people who are not in front of the public eye they would never understand it or be able to relate to it but people are just very terrible little creatures <laughs> on the internet it's so many trolls and so many people who have all of these opinions about your personal life and this that you're saying and they want to judge you and talk shit about you and do this 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 that and it's so easy for all y'all to be like don't worry about it don't let it bother you. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Y'all are the same ones who, if you go to school and two people are talking shit about you, you're going to be crying in the corner. So don't talk to me or anybody else about how, oh, just don't worry about it because it's not that simple. When you have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people talking so much shit about you, and in the case of, you know, Nicole TV, she has 3 million followers. I'm sure there's thousands of people talking shit about her, and she's coming across all of these comments on all of her social media platforms, people are saying these negative things about her. Obviously, it's not gonna make her feel good, okay? As human beings, we are social creatures, okay? So we are just not set up to receive all of this negative backlash and all of these negative comments and all these people just being so nasty and throwing all of this hate this verbal hate your way. We're just not set up like that to be able to handle that and function normally. We're just not. Have that happen to you and you'll see what it feels like. But all of y'all don't know what it feels like. 
So you can easily be like, oh, it's just comments. It's just stupid people. It's just trolls. Just ignore them. I'm gonna need some of y'all to do research into psychology. When you're constantly reading things that people are saying that are negative about you and people are saying you ain't shit, you ugly, you this, you this, that, you start to internalize that. It could be a child saying it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's trolls who are relevant saying who are actually fans and they really like you. None of that matters. This definitely takes a toll on people's psyche. That's why you have so many influencers who are depressed. That's why you have people who, you know, want to commit suicide. Some people have committed suicide and y'all just don't understand that. Some of y'all are talking shit and leaving nasty comments and not realizing that you're actually contributing to someone being suicidal like how do you feel about that being that disgusting of a person and sending hate their way and talking shit you ain't shit this this that you can actually be contributing to them having a mental fucking breakdown because you're being that terrible of a person and honestly my recommendation for everybody who is an influencer is to not read your goddamn comments i think that it's the most ideal thing to do in order to protect your mental space so i personally don't think people should engage and read their comments i have gone through many ways of reading comments and not reading comments and i am my happiest self and i'm more at peace when i am not reading people's comments i just completely stop reading comments and it's funny because when i first started back doing youtube um over the summer i feel like i started back i did not read comments at all and i was super bubbly and happy all the fucking time like i was on cloud nine i wasn't reading nothing because i remember from the last time i was doing reactions how toxic it was so i was like i'm not reading these fucking comments but maybe like a couple months ago i decided you know what let me start reading some comments. I feel like I should be engaging with people who support me. Let me read comments here and there. Obviously, I'm not reading every single one, but let me start reading comments here and there and, you know, interact with the people. Bad idea. I did that for maybe like a month and a half and I had to completely stop. Like, it slowly started to tear down my mood. And you could think you're such a strong person and that, oh, this shit don't phase me. I got tough skin. All of that is bullshit. That idea of having thick skin is, is fake. It's fake as fuck. Of course, there are some people who can handle verbal abuse because that's what the fuck it is. Some people can handle verbal abuse better than others. Some people are a bit more sensitive and fragile to that type of thing. And they may have, you know, like a mental breakdown or may experience the negative effects much quicker than another person. But the reality is we all care about what people think about us. None of us wants to sit here and have shit being talked about us on a regular basis. Nobody wants that. I don't care what none of y'all talking about. It's not about having thick skin. People always like to throw that in, you know, these people face like, oh, you have to have thick skin for the internet, thick skin. Ain't no such thing, bitch. No same person is gonna be able to take someone just throwing hate and bullshit at them over and over and over again and just be fine. Like, oh, I'm not affected, everything's fine. That doesn't exist. So I don't know what people have told you or what you think. Or are you trying, maybe you're trying to compare it to your own life in that time that, oh, Rachel talked shit about you and I'm fine. And my mama say this about me and I'm fine. No, we're talking about on a large scale, okay? Several hundred comments being thrown at you and people judge you and talking shit about you and nigga this and fuck you and you ain't shit and you ugly and this is why this happened in your life. You responsible for it. Like, it's a lot. It's a fucking lot. And nobody can function well dealing with all that. So honestly, I feel like she should just stop reading her comments and I feel like she definitely will feel a lot better. Just create your content, put that shit out, and keep it pushing. But yeah, when I start reading comments, it's like a weight was lifted off of me. I'm like, I feel way better. Why was I doing that? I'm not doing that again. I actually am going to start something new in like the next month or so um, to where I have a way to connect with people who support me, and I will release that and talk more about that in the future. But yeah, for now, I don't read my comments. When I look for videos to react to, I filter out my comments to look for videos to react to. That's it. I'm not reading people's comments. Maybe I'll catch a comment here and there because how YouTube is set up from the creator studio side is your all of your comments will pop up initially and then you have to type in what you want to filter um, your comments for and then only those comments will pop up. But before I filter it, I just randomly see hella comments. So if I see somebody saying something nice about me or, you know, they say something funny or whatever, I might like their comment or I might comment really quick, but that's rare. Usually when I see it, I just see a whole bunch of react to this, react to that. Um, and then I just filter my comments. So I'm not seeing a lot of these unnecessary, toxic, 
comments. Honestly, I feel like the comment section is for y'all. It's YouTube, it's for you. It's for you to leave comments and interact with other people and have y'all little community going on. Y'all need me, y'all need me interjecting and you know, saying this, this and that. Y'all need all that. This is the comment section is for y'all. Y'all have a blast, have fun with it, but nah, I'm not about to be reading people's comments and all this negative shit they gotta say about me and my life and they don't fucking know me, you know? It's, it's a lot. It's very uh, emotionally overwhelming after a while. Um, so I totally get what she's talking about. And it's funny, hearing her say this, this reminded me of the DMB Nation video that I reacted to. I know this video is getting super long, but this is my last point. Um, but maybe a few weeks ago, I reacted to a DMB Nation, like dumbest moments or something like that. And that is the time that I decided to completely stop reading comments again. Um, so when I first started doing reactions again in the summer, I wasn't reading comments whatsoever. Fast forward to two months ago, I started reading comments again and trying to, you know, interact with people more. And I completely stopped again three weeks ago. And it was offset by that particular video. So in this video, I'm talking about how I don't agree with people sending so much hate to DMB Nation. I think that that's really corny. You know, I'm giving my opinion about that. And I'm reading the comments and I'm seeing so many people talk about how they deserve all the hate they get and how they are just terrible people. They ain't shit. They just that. So they deserve everything they get. And I just was like, oh, gross. Like, this is so fucking toxic. Why am I bothering? <laughs> Why am I even reading this? Like, I'm not doing this. And in that video, I feel like it went over what I, the point I was trying to make went over so many people's heads. But my point is that you don't have to support everything that everybody does. People are gonna do dumb shit, people are gonna say dumb shit, there are a whole bunch of assholes and ignorant people in the world, that's just life. But I don't agree with people sending other people hate just because they don't agree with or support what they are doing. Because you can fuck with somebody's mental health. You can literally be the reason why they want to kill themselves. So sending them hate is not necessary and it's fucked up and it in turn makes you such a terrible fucking person because you are contributing to breaking this person down mentally. Why would you want to be a part of that? And this is not to say what they're doing is acceptable. There's so many people who assume that I didn't know what they were doing. I've heard about this bullshit they've been doing, but does that mean I agree with people coming at them and telling them they ain't shit and they need to die and they're terrible parents? No. Of course you can have an opinion. You can tell people that you don't agree with what they're saying. You can even educate them and say, hey, this is wrong what you're doing because of X, Y, Z. Nothing wrong with that. But I'm referencing sending hate to people and telling them that they need to die and they this and that, they're ugly, they're terrible breaking them down mentally that is what i'm referencing when i'm saying sending hate and those are the particular comments that people get that starts to wear them down because it's so fucking extreme and it's excessive and then when you're getting so many comments saying the same thing it's just like fuck this is a lot so i don't agree with that i don't care what anybody does nothing justifies you sending them actual hate and verbally abusing them over the internet so that's my opinion maybe some people grew up in weird households to where they feel like hey if you do something wrong then you need to be abused and you need to be hurt i don't have that same mindset just don't support them don't watch them if you don't agree with what they're doing but i don't feel like you should send hate their way and cause them to have a fucking mental breakdown possibly like I don't agree with that. I think that's really fucked up that people do that shit. And I hate the sentiment that, well, they're influencers. This is what they signed up for. Shut your dumb ass up. That is the dumbest shit I ever heard in my life. So people signed up to be verbally abused and have people tear them down? No, that don't make no fucking sense. These people sign up to be an influencer and sign up to create content and entertain people and have a good time. They didn't sign up to be fucking abused online and sent into depression and shit. And honestly, whenever I hear that tired ass argument, I always feel like it's dripping with jealousy. It kind of has the air of, oh, well you have this good life and you make all this money, so you should get this hate. Like you should have something bad that comes along with it. Like that's what it sounds like whenever I hear people saying that like, oh, well this is what you signed up for. This is your job. Like shut the fuck up. These people signed up to be an influencer. They signed up to entertain people. They did not sign up to be abused online, have people tell them to die and stalking them and doing all this other weird shit. That's not what they fucking signed up for. You sound crazy. Um, but anyway, that's the end of my rant. <laughs> I just totally feel what she's saying and I know that a lot of influencers go through this and you know, they be depressed as fuck and they be really going through it because they're reading all these comments of all these people having these opinions about them and saying this, this, that. You know, this is why this happened and da, da, da. I've had people tell me, I share with the internet 
that my mom passed away because I wasn't recording videos. This was in 2017. I wasn't recording videos for a while. So I got on the internet and told people why I wasn't recording videos because my mom had passed away. I literally had people using that against me to throw hate my way and tell me, fuck your dead mama and this, that, like all type of hideous, just disgusting comments. Um, I was drinking shortly after, not even shortly fucking after, maybe like a month later. I remember I did a video with my ex and it was like, uh, I think we did like a challenge while drinking or some shit like that. I had so many people telling me that, oh, why are you even drinking? Did your mama just pass away? Like she up here drinking and laughing and having a good time. Her mama just died. Am I supposed to be depressed my whole life? <laughs> like it's shit like that that really gets under your skin and really gets to you because we're human. We're human beings. Y'all are so weird acting like niggas aren't going to be affected. We're emotional, social human beings. So we are affected by things that people say. And you may think you're just leaving a comment and not really having an effect on people, but you are. Anyway, rant over. I've been talking for 50 hours now, <laughs> but that is my opinion on this whole situation. I really feel for Kayla. I hope that she gets in a better space and I hope she doesn't quit YouTube because this is a great opportunity for her. Um, I just feel like she needs to not read her comments. I honestly feel like that's the best way. I tell people that all the time, like, bro, don't read your comments. If it's bothering you that much, don't read your comments. Just don't create your content and go like she don't even have to filter her comments i have to filter my comments and see some of this i still have to block people because <laughs> some people tell me to react to shit but then they still they talk shit about me so i still honestly get um some form of hate but it's not nearly as much as if i was just reading through my comments um but yeah she doesn't even have to do that she ain't gotta filter her comments she don't even have to look at them she don't have to look at them and you can say oh well, what about if you want suggestions no, trust your own creative, uh, creative instinct, <laughs> you know, go based on that. Like I wouldn't even touch my comments. I would not read them ever. I ain't read my comments on YouTube. I'm not reading my, uh, Instagram shit. Nothing. Um, if I was her, especially with, you know, her huge following, I can only imagine how much hate she's receiving, um, about, oh, she just ghetto. She fighting. She did. I can, I already know what people saying, you know, so I feel for her. I hope that, you know, she doesn't quit YouTube and she just stopped reading her comments and guarantee she'll feel a lot better. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all thought about the video. <laughs> so funny saying, let me know what y'all thought about the video and I'm not going to read these comments. But anyway, uh, let each other know what you think about the video and yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.